Welcome back fellow mobile game fanatics, my time here bringing another episode of Top Drives and we're going to be looking at the titanium titles okay so as we come to events we will see here that Mousetrap does have up the track sets now so if you aren't familiar with them I will very quickly go through first track set, second track set, third track set and fourth track set you'll notice only one of the track sets has no rain and they all have at least, I don't want to repeat myself here at least three remember three wet tracks um and two sorry yeah the others have sorry the others have at least two wet tracks and two dirt some are three dirt some are two dirt and mixed now with that said we can also look down here and see why is everyone so excited about this event because plant has put a post up and this is the titanium pack so your first card out is a guaranteed super rare, your second card is 50-50 between super and ultra rare, your third card is a guaranteed ultra rare, your fourth card is a guaranteed epic and your fifth card has a 25% chance of being a legendary or an epic. So worst case scenario from a titanium pack, you get two epics, an ultra rare and two super rares. So that is the worst, worst, worst case scenario. That's what people are looking for and top 11 out of 100. So over 10% of people are getting, it, getting that in each bracket. Now, the kind of cards that you will need um, as I come in here are, I uh, will just use the filter actually to show you a bit easier as a as a tip, okay? It is Italian and Great Exhibition. Okay, Italian Renaissance Great Exhibition. You are going to need some all surface or some off road tires, okay? Bear that in mind, off road tires are great for ice, snow, grass, and dirt yes however they do not do well in the wet which is why you're going to need some all surface tires on top of that if you go for off-road tires as you will see here when i go to miscellaneous um you will need to pick some high ground clearance cars because of the motocross track you do not want to be taking medium or low ground clearance cars to the motocross track because you will get destroyed even by some of the uh should we say weaker weaker cars in the um, in the tiers so you need to make sure you think that might all surface will, pre will perform better in the rain off roads won't do good in the rain unless you have the four wheel drive lan like the Lancias they are going to be god in this case okay? so if you have one of those you have a very good chance of doing well um, for people like me you've got to try and build a different team so if we look at something like this just to give you an idea as we go as we go down this Lancer Rally it's a good car to use um, but the main ones you're going to see is the Land Rover Defender if you pull one of these I definitely recommend building it and using it because it covers the high ground clearance um, it has ABS which is quite good for it obviously in the rain you want traction control a lot of these cars aren't going to have traction control a lot of the off-roaders won't so obviously that gives the all surface cars another advantage in the wet but that Land Rover Defender alternatively one of the very few um, Italian cars which are in the cheaper area to use you can go with the Lamborghini if you happen to have it so uh, maybe it's not going to be the best car but it does the job okay it's got a high ground clearance will get around the track and stuff these cars the the Stilo, the Ciento, they will all get smashed by this Lamborghini in the motocross, okay? Um, and even when it comes to the drags, this is this is going to beat them. So you might as well you might as well do that. Then you can have like an all rounder car like the Velar or something else if you're not fortunate enough to have some of the top cars in the game. So what have I been working with? Well, I can bring this to you now because I've been able to play around with my team, and I have decided the team to use is not this okay so this is the team that I would suggest as an example for somebody who's looking to get in the top 35 you're trying to get the double carbon fiber look for a team like this look for something like the defender and um, obviously you can have plenty of argue points left to go so I'm trying to look for people who maybe don't have the same kind of deck there's obviously a lot of upgrading that, be, that can be done here the Lancia here is an extremely useful car uh, especially for top 35 you'll see this lot this car will help you on the drag part in the dirt keep that car for there 
something like the Vlight is going to be useful because it's got a decent 0 to 60, it's got good handling, it can use the motocross, it can go in the dirt or the mixed and then you've got the Defender which also helps you on the motocross and it will save a few RQ points if you do have a lot more. Obviously you can throw the Defender out for um, any of the other Range Rovers if you've got some other Range Rovers you want to use, for example if you want to use the Sport bring in the range of a sport I'd preferably to do, do the sport of the Velar over the Evoke I think the Evoke's the worst of the three that's my opinion I can go into why another video uh, or you could always bring in uh, where's the PHEV one yeah you could bring in the PHEV for example um, then you also want to bring in two fast cars now I'm bringing in two ultra rares here you're bringing in the mirror for the hill climb which is going to be asphalt, trying to go for that speed uh, to get you out as quick as possible, and then you're going for a circuit car in the form of the Rapide. Now feel free to bring in some of the Lotuses. Ideally, if you've got one of the legendary Lambos, you can pull that in. But little on me, I don't have those cars. So, they're just examples of what you could do. This, I reckon, would get you top 35, or you'd be very close. I don't think you'd be far off. And obviously you can pull in some improvements however myself I have found that I think my best team is this now it is a toss up between the Gallardo and the Volante of which I put in and I might change them around but I've sided with the Volante because it will be slightly better on the circuits and both of them are going to lose in the quarter miles against the, the proper fast Lambos anyway. Now I have got one more upgrade to put into the DBS, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put into the weight, and then that will be that maxed, and that will help, help. Let's go in anyway and just show you some matches. So let's come and just play Declan. Um, yeah, I've had, I've had quite a few defeats because I wasn't using this team. I was maxing out the DBS, but now that I've done it, I've tried to I've tried to work out roughly where I can and can't win in matches. So it's been, like for example, I know that the Land Rover Defender loses this, but I know it only loses it by like 50 points. So the, the idea here is the rain is not good, okay? The rain is not my friend when I'm running the Lancer. Now, Twisty Circuit is a win. The Hill Climb is a loss. So the question is, do I go for more win points here or less, lose less points in the Hill Climb? That's gonna be the first plan, okay? Now, I take a defeat here, because I have to throw in my Defender into, I can't put my Lancer there. The question is, can the Lancer win the quarter mile drag? Don't think it can. Conversely, don't think that I've got much more power, much more power in here, but it's also heavier. Not much more power, but a bit more power. You know, let's try. This could be a defeat. Could be a defeat live on camera. Lovely. So this is lost, but it's only lost by 50 points, okay? So there you go, look. Lovely, good car to put in for the motocross part. If you're struggling, uh, you haven't really got any other, oh, no, no, any other cars, putting out Land Rover Defender. Uh, it, it can help you bring in other cars. Now, I was hoping I'd have won this, but I'm not. I was hoping I'd have won that. Ah, it's bad. This is bad news. I can't win this now. I can't win this. This is finished. Okay. So this is the, this is the problem with the Lancer Rally. Okay. I, when I win this, I don't win it by enough. It doesn't do well in the dirt. Now, if that had been a slalom which wasn't, uh, sorry, in the rain, if that had been a slalom which wasn't in the rain, I'd have had a chance. And yeah, see, so you're going to lose too many points on there. So, that track set does not suit me. And I drop down. So, let's come back in, go again. Uh, let's just have a look. Okay, this is a dry track set, so I know I can win. I know I win both of these two. I know. I lose here and I'm gonna lose with the Land Rover somewhere and I'm gonna win lose with the Land Rover here and win lose tie um, win win yeah 
I think we should be all right here. I think we should be all right. The track sets are going to play a part. No, I know I lose that. And I know I win that. I can take the tie here. Kind of have to really. Um, I win here. But I'm kind of thinking, because it's mixed, to take. You know, I didn't really, I didn't really look at this properly. I think I might have messed up again, you know. I think I might have messed up again. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This can be just a small victory here. I thought so. It's that hand in which helps it. So that's a small victory. But I thought oh, the last one was going to be a victory as well. Because I know I lose this by about... 70 is not too bad. That's fine. I'm going to gain more than 70 here. This is going to be a nice victory. About 75. 69. Ooh. So it's going to be close. Ah, uh, have to win the last one now. If I could have won it by a couple more points, I could have only just lost by 50 and still been home and dry. Have to win this now and I'm not just win it. Thank you very much, that extra handling. There we go. Ah, a victory back up. Okay, so. Ooh, what I need to do is I need to see people down there. There's quite a few defeats with people. If I saw people with, like, say, Declan Murphy's hand who I just played, if they didn't have many defeats um, because people weren't really facing them, then I'd be a bit more worried. Um, I've had a few of these defeats myself. I think my team is going to be harder for people to come up against and naturally beat. Um, <sighs> loss, win, win. Mm. Okay. Loss, win, win. Tie, loss. Alternative is to throw you over here. Don't think that's the best hand to come. Declan again. This is this one gonna help me. I, I win here. I win. I win. I win. I lose. And I lose. I have to lose with alternative I could win. Lose. Win. Lose win. I kinda wanna fight Declan just to, just to see really where I am where I'm at. Um win lose tie tie mm, I think I lose this this one's maxed out mm. Ooh, guys I don't know I don't know I suppose I suppose sometimes you just you just gotta you just gotta jump in I've got to find out where I'm at don't I? I've got to find out what my team is capable of don't I so do we take the ties or do we try and be clever Let's just say we did this. If we did that, we are praying for enough points in them too. Now, I don't think I can win the hairpin. I think it's going to be extremely tight if he's maxed out. Extremely tight. I think that extra handling, I think he's going to... Oh, we didn't. There we go, baby. Yeah. And that is what it's about. Do not be afraid to play people and lose especially when you've got a long time left in the events okay you need to work out where you can beat people and then try to remember that for later on so if you can work out a track set which is which is bad for you and then you, you have to do you know if you've got a, a favorable track set for you find the person which is favorable for if you've got a track set which is bad for you against the person avoid that person uh, you're better off to work all that out now when, this, when people are grinding hard for those final places then in the last you know, two, three hours when everyone's online playing. Uh, again here, this is kind of the same situation. It's a win tie, win loss, loss. Um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try Declan. I'm gonna give him another, I'm gonna give him another victory. How about that? I'm, I'm generous. I'm generous. Uh, how do we do this? How are we going to do this? We are going to say that we will be better off to win. The open road to look out. But I say like that. I 
I think I think we can do this. I think we can. This is going to be 50 points. Okay, we're going to lose by 75, 70, something like that. Oh, Christ. That was more than I expected. Okay. Okay, it doesn't change a huge amount. I need to win a few points here, get a few back. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. It's helped to level the playing field a bit. I need to win one by 50, lose one by 50. I ain't losing this by 50, but much more. Good, 69. Good boy. Get in there. Just got to win the last one. And we're home and dry. Mwah, bellissimo. So, track sets again. Track sets. But I'm not third, okay? My team is not worthwhile or third. You could say, well, you're in third. The main, the main thing is, if you can beat people around you or those just below you, it's going to make it difficult for them to attack you. They don't want to attack you because if you drop down too much, you you'll start to attack them more. So if you if you've got a team that with the people around you, they're not confident about beating you, then you get a chance. Um, again here, like I've played this Anthony a minute ago to find out, like, and now I'm in trouble here on the quarter mile. And I'm in trouble. Um, I don't win. This isn't a good track set for me. I win the twisty circuit. I lose here. It's tight, tight. I can't win the quarter mile. Can't win the drag race. Can't win the drag race. I'm pretty sure I can't. I don't think I should be trying him. Got a chance here. Tie, win, lose, lose. Mm. Again. The, this isn't a good track set for me. I lose here, I win here, lose here, lose here, tight. These are not good track sets for me, and I know Mike the Mechanic has got my number. Oh dear. Can I find a way out of here? Can I find a way out of here? Come win. Lose. Tie win. Let me try. It's a guy at the top. Let me try. Might be the best one for me. Come win that. these by a little bit here win this I'm not sure if I should have just put this here and taken the victory here I think this might be the way to beat this guy this might be the way to beat this guy so I take my defeat here graciously look at that it's just it's just amazing isn't it it's just amazing 16 RQ less and I lose by 58 points can't ask for anything else I've been destroyed Lancer here I needed that. I needed that victory because I don't think I'm going to lose by that much if I do. I win this, okay? Not that there's anything wrong with Alfa Romero, but this DBS, this is what DBS is here for. It's here for this track, it's here for the circuit part, it's not here for the hill climb. That's what the Volante is here for. I take this out. Yes, this is, this is right. If it's raining, this is the guy I want. If it's raining, this is the guy I want because I can only lose this by 115, 120 points, something like that. Go. Yes, done it. Perfect. Two stars. And that was against the guy in top. Right, ignore this for a while, guys. I'm not going to remain here. You've seen my team is, is beatable. But I've given you all, hopefully, an insight into what you could use to build, you know, build the same kind of, um, kind of team. Go back, have a look. As I said, I'm using a 9RQ car along with what I call good cars. I do have a few points left over. You've seen my example using four ultra rare cars and then whatever else you've got. It's got, a, in fact, it's got a, an uncommon in it as well, which I think will get you into the top 35. And I honestly do legitimately believe that. I mean, I'm using two of those cars myself at the moment. So if I'm using an uncommon and an ultra rare car, they have to be they have to be useful. So try and build that. If you have any problems or you want any help, 
any tips or want to ask me my opinion anything please feel free to put it in the comments below i will get back to you as soon as i can and try and help you good luck in your brackets if you're in my bracket then i wish you all the best let me know um i, I will try and not attack people if they are subscribe to me and ask me to but obviously i am going to be going for top 11 myself but if i can avoid you i will so thank you very much i'll be my time i'll be back when we're a bit more into this event good luck everyone and i'll see you all soon